From a spectator's perspective, watching kart racer Eric Lazar on the racetrack would give anyone the impression that he's just one of the regulars who enjoys his weekly dose of adrenaline. But off of the track, you get a better picture of the challenges Eric has faced and has overcome as a disabled racer. Having been confined to a wheelchair for about seven years, Eric has now created an organization that helps others with disabilities get that same sense of freedom that he has found in kart racing. Well, I just started this recently, Karting to Live, in 2009, um, to get people in wheelchairs, amputees, people that need to drive with hand controls. It'll get you out of the wheelchair, for one, and uh, I think it just equal leveling field, you know? They don't know we're in a wheelchair when they're on the go-kart in this track. So it's just another go-kart driver. With the use of specially made hand controls for his race carts, Eric's organization is reaching out to those who are confined to wheelchairs and giving them an experience that many consider life-changing. Finding this and, and Eric being um, good enough to bring this to the handicapped community I speak for everybody when I say we are beyond grateful because just coming out here today and feeling this, I've got the feeling of almost being uninjured again. And uh, when I'm out there on the track, I'm out there thinking about racing. I'm not out there thinking about my injury and, and you know, what's wrong in my life. Uh, just liberating. Um, you know, it's there aren't many things out there that we let us go all out in a similar sense of the way that we were before our injury. So, I mean, it's, um, yeah, it just brings that excitement back again that a lot of us have been lacking in life. It's kind of life-changing. It's one of those things that you, you still feel like a person. You still come out and do things that other people do. You get to enjoy normal things in a way. So it, it's, it's great fun. The long-term goal for Eric and Carding to Live is to continue to grow in its outreach to the disabled and especially those who have been injured while serving in the military. Till then, Eric says he will do all he can in giving others the opportunity to feel the freedom of racing while fulfilling his own dreams. This is my dream. This is what I'm trying to do, get these guys in, in go-karts as many as possible. Um, these guys are quadriplegic. They don't have the hands that I do. Yet they're out here doing something that they were told they probably couldn't be able to do. So, um, yeah, my dreams are coming true, slowly but surely. Bringing you the best of California. From Fontana, this is J.R. Ibarra for California Life.